hello friends welcome to my next video tutorial this is moin again and in this video i'm going to show you how to define grid and the various option of defining grid using etaps 2016 program so to start this video click here in this etaps 2016 icon on your desktop and you can see this type of window and you have to click here to start modeling with new tab you have to click here a new model at the right top corner just click here in this icon and model initialization window will appear here and you can see here there is three option one is use saved user default setting the next one is use setting from a model file and then third one is use build in setting so if you select this first option which is use saved user default setting then ok you can see here the unit is here fit so if you want to use this fit unit then uh, which is empirical unit then you can uh, work with this window this is the same but I am not using this window I am just want to uh, use my custom setting just cancel this one again go to here new model and the second option is you can use predefined model as a sample here if you use this if you use any previously done model then all the setting will be copied to your new model so you don't have to define all the parameter again i will show you this and now just go to the next one you can see here this one is use built-in setting with you can see the first one is us customary then if you select this one and then click ok you can see here this is also empirical unit because by default this the setting is in empirical unit just cancel this one and go to again this new model select the third one then you can change here the metric SI if you want to uh, do this in meter then click ok you can see this is the units are now in metric so cancel again go to here new then actually we are going to use this build third option build in setting with metric si then okay but before i go to here i want to show you the second option use setting from model file so actually just i am giving you an idea if you select this one and press okay you can see it is asking to select any model so i am going to my desktop i have a sample model here if i select this one then open and if I just press OK, you can see this is my model and if you go to here, uh, say define, if you go to section properties frame section, you can see here lots of section are defined, which I have already used in my sample model and I have worked with that previously. So all the setting has come here, if you go to here also, you can see define section property slab section you can see rs5 s6 s9 but i'm going to show you how to define this one uh, from the beginning but i'm not using this when you are expert in this program then you can use sample model or your any previously done model as a sample but i'm not uh, going to do this way just cancel and i'm going here the new model again and no and now i'm selecting the third option then i want us customary then ok ok done now this is the new model quick template and i have to define the grid here you can see here by default the grid only option is select we are going to use this option and it is by default selected if you want to use any other option you can see here there are lots of options listed you can also use this in any special cases ok first if you want to change you can see here there is number of uh, grid line in x direction 4 number of grid line in y direction 4 and all the spacing are 24 feet and you can see here the uh, simple history data number of history 4 typical history high 12 bottom history high 12 actually I do, we don't want to use this default data because this is a sample data we want to use our own so first click here grid levels you, you can see here the beginning x id is a if you want to change this one so the id will start from one to infinity and if you want to if you change this one then you have to change here another one say if you want to in y direction a then you can do but i am not changing anything here and you can also see here the label uh, is selected left to right you can change them right to left and in y direction it is 
label bottom to top if you want to change that that to label top to bottom you can do but i am not changing anything here i am just using the by default just and then you have to click here this custom grid spacing we are going to use uh, one specified grid system now you have to click here edit grid data and you can see the ordinates are available here now you can see here the grid system name g1 if you want to change the name you can do this is our grid system which is g1 and you can see here the rectangular grid display grid data as ordinates it is displaying the data as ordinate you can see here 0 24 48 72 which is the cumulative distance but we don't want to calculate the cumulative distance because if you have lots of grid then it will be very difficult and it will consume your time so we don't want to do this way i just want to do display grid data as spacing so we will use the individual grid spacing here and also you can see here the bubble size if you want to change this you can change the circle size is the bubble size but we don't want to change the right now and also the grid color you can see if you want to change the grid color you can change that you can see the grid color has been changed use some deep color you can see the grid color has been changed okay now go to your plan here i can see i have the grid spacing a to b is 14 feet 7 inch go to here the a is by default 24 feet so i have these 14 feet 7 so i can write 14 double click on uh, this value then write 14 feet then if you write 7 and press enter you can see the value has been converted to 14.58 but if you know the value then you can use directly uh, this is 16 feet 7 so i have to use here 16.58 i know this is 16.58 the next one is c 14 feet 9 so i am using 14.75 and the last uh, another one is one feet eight so this is one point six six so i i have more uh, grid so if i want to add grid then i have to click here add you can see here the grid has been added so the last grid is zero because if you see uh, see here i have the last grid f and there is no grid beyond this f so this should be zero so this is 14 0.75 and the next one is 1 feet 8 1.66 and we need more grid i'm just clicking add then i have 1 feet 3 so this should be 1.25 then these are done then i have to go to y grid uh, y direction data my y direction it is starting one from the bottom so my bottom grid is 8 feet 5 this is 8.4141 the next one is 8 feet 11 so 8.92 then 14 feet 6 this is 14.5 so our grid is definition in x and y direction is done now if you want to change this bubble size you can do say i am going to change this to 40 and now i have to click okay so my in x and y direction is done now i have to set my history dimension so here in history dimension each one is using their own technique and i use my technique if you find any quicker and easy way then you can use that but i am just showing my way of what i do the first i do this is history number of history 2 then typical i have 10 feet you can see here my history height is 10 feet and last the bottom history is the distance from plain beam or great beam to the foundation so this is six feet and you have to calculate this from the geotechnical report uh, what will be the depth of the foundation this is i have this is six you may have this is more or less so when you have defined this one then you have to just click ok you can see the grid system is displayed here and also you can see here the dimension you can check the dimension uh, again you can double check from here and you can see this window is by default in plan and the next window is by default 3d if you want to change you can change that as per i have shown you in the previous video so now save this model click here save and i am just giving a name tutorial then click save okay now if you want to select this grid by clicking here you you can select this grid 
so because the grid are uh, the grid system is locked uh, you can uh, change the setting and you can lock and unlock this grid system by going to edit and you can go to uh, you can see here the grid option then you can see lock on screen grid system if you check if you click here and now you can select the grid and if you select and then press delete you can see the grid has been deleted so this is very dangerous if you don't lock the grid so always you have to lock the grid ctrl z to go to the previous mode and you can turn on and off this lock by going to here then grid option and lock on screen before you have added any member here still you can change this grid system by going to here edit edit history and grid system and g1 you can see here grid system g1 then you have to go to here modify show grid system and this one you can add any grid here and we can also change the name from here also if you want this should be aa this should be bb or something like this you can change from here and you can add any grid here still there is a possibility of adding grid but say you have already done your model and now you need to add another grid just a say five feet right from this b you can do and as we don't have anything uh, here i can do by drawing a point but you can do after you have done your model then uh, drawing any column or anything uh, copying a column you can uh, add a grid go to here draw then draw a joint object and just click here say on the intersection of grid 4 and b then close this press esc to exit from the command now select this po point and go to here replicate then uh, write the distance say i want a grid 5 feet right from this b so this should be dx5 then apply ok and you can see here there is a grid uh, point and also there is a point and to deselect this point you can see at the left bottom you can see here there is a select toolbar clear select click here clear selection and it will be deselected now select this point and go to here edit then add grid lines at selected point joints and now you have to parallel to which axis you want to draw a new grid say i want to draw along y so i have to check this parallel to y then apply ok you can see a new grid 7 has been added if you click on this point then it will be deselected now you can go to either edit then edit history and grid system or you can right click on this window and add or modify grid system now modify and show you can see here the new grid system 7 added here so if you want to change the name then you can change the name from here. so this way you can add any new grid if you have mistaken to add any grid along any column position then you can add this way this way you can define your grid system if you like this video please subscribe my channel to get updated and thanks for watching my video see you in the next video